All right, today we're going to bring a USB 3.0 hub. Now, this is a perfect hub if you have no more space on your motherboard and you need additional um, USB 3.0. Now, some of the towers, can, they actually require to have a 3.0 um, for the LED lights, their RGB light or the fans. So we're going to set this up today and I'm going to show you how to set this up. All right. So here we have an actual mock-up of a computer. Well, it's not mock-up. It's an actual computer we have that we use for test, uh, test bench. So what I do is mostly basically this thing has a double-sided adhesive that you could set up. So this will be pretty much in the back and the computer. It could be underneath of it or on the side. But for now, we're just going to mock it up here. So on this side, we're going to turn it on and I'm going to zoom in so I can show you guys a little bit more details. All right. So I do have plenty of USBs on this motherboard. But if you don't have any and you require um additional ones or you want to convert one into two you can do that so the way it will work you will have to get your actual uh usb 3.0 here and actually plug this in which we're going to do a splitter here we're going to plug it in for locks in place so we got that part and then all you got to do is find one of the usb slots make sure you do the indentations are correct right so find your usb 3.0 slot plug it in there and that's pretty much it but you do require power now if you don't have the four prong connection or you have the actual sata connection you do have to have one so right now we do have sata and if you guys see it just make sure you don't break the pins because this is a fragile part too so once you have power you could actually add two more USB. So from one USB, you convert it to two of them, right? So that's not a bad thing if you ever, like I said, if you, these, these new towers come with a lot more USBs uh, that require more connection. Some motherboards don't have them. If you have older additional motherboards, you're going to need a couple of them. So not only that, water pumps, uh, RGB lighting, and all sorts of things are actually powering up to there. So you give it power, and then you set up the USB. 3.0 and then it gives you two usbs and this has adhesive so you can put it in the back and you shouldn't be worry about now let's go ahead and connect the other four prong if you don't have the sata connection all right so we have a four prong connection here if you don't have a if you have the older version right just make sure you properly set up all right so we're gonna go ahead and marry it and go ahead and plug it in and that's it that's pretty much what you got to do just marry it like that and give it power so this thing this module will not work without any power so you need to have power so these usb could be active so i hope you guys enjoy the video 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel i hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful and i hope you hit the like and subscribe